Good morning, friends. Last week we looked at the book of Ezekiel, so this week we are moving along to the book of Daniel. Now, the book of Daniel is only 12 chapters long, but it contains a lot of really great stories, stories you've probably heard before. Um, and of course, this book is by none other than Daniel himself. Today, we are going to look at the very first chapter of the book of Daniel, and we're going to talk about temptation. So to get us started, I'm going to read from Daniel chapter 1, verses 1 through 16. During the third year of King Jehoiakim's reign in Judah, King Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon came to Jerusalem and besieged it. The Lord gave him victory over King Jehoiakim of Judah and permitted him to take some of the sacred objects from the temple of God. So Nebuchadnezzar took them back to the land of Babylonia and placed them in the treasure house of his God. Then the king ordered Ashpenaz, his chief of staff, to bring to the palace some of the young men of Judah's royal family and other noble families who had been brought to Babylon as captives. Select only strong, healthy, and good-looking young men, he said. Make sure they are well-versed in every branch of learning and are gifted with knowledge and good judgment and are suited to serve in the royal palace. Train these young men in the language and literature of Babylon. The king assigned them a daily ration of food and wine from his own kitchens. They were to be trained for three years, and then they would enter the royal service. Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah were four of the young men chosen from the tribe of Judah. The chief of staff renamed them with these Babylonian names. Daniel was called Belteshazzar, Hananiah was called Shadrach, Mishael was called Meshach, and Azariah was called Abednego. But Daniel was determined not to defile himself by eating the food and wine given to them by the king. He asked the chief of staff for permission not to eat these unacceptable foods. Now God had given the chief of staff both respect and affection for Daniel, but he responded, I'm afraid of the Lord the king who has ordered that you eat this food and wine. If you become pale and thin compared to the other youths, I'm afraid the king will have me beheaded. Daniel spoke with the attendant who had been appointed by the chief of staff to look after Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah. Please test us for 10 days on a diet of vegetables and water, Daniel said. At the end of the 10 days, see how we look compared to the other young men who are eating the king's food. Then make your decision in light of what you see. The attendant agreed to Daniel's suggestion and tested them for 10 days. At the end of the 10 days, Daniel and his three friends looked healthier and better nourished than the young men who had been eating the food assigned to them by the king. So after that, the attendant fed them only vegetables instead of the food and wine provided for the others. So Daniel, uh, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah, who you may have heard of as Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and if you've watched the VeggieTales special, they're Radshak and Benny. Uh, they're all friends, and they were taken from the land of Judah to Babylon. They were all from noble families in Judah, and they were taken to Babylon as captives. But the Babylonian king, Nebuchadnezzar, wants to train them, and he wants to make them uh, give them a place in the royal palace, some sort of job in the royal service. So he's going to take the ones that are already smart and gifted, and he's going to train them like they would smart and gifted Babylonian men, and he's going to have them work for him in the royal service. So he picks these four young men, among others. Daniel's one of them, of course. But Daniel needs to abide by the laws of God. He may be in Babylon, Right, But he knows he needs to follow God's laws. And God has told him specific foods that he's not supposed to eat. And those are the foods that the king is saying they should be served. So Daniel says, how about instead of me eating all those foods, you give me just vegetables and water? Because he knows vegetables and water are safe. They follow the laws of God. So Daniel, he has so many temptations in this court. He could have basically whatever food and drink he wanted because he was being fed from the kitchens of the king. And he told the attendant, I only want food or yeah, vegetables and water to be served to me because I have to follow the rules of my God. So even when given 
the temptation of the best foods around, Daniel chose to follow God's law and he chose to only eat water and vegetables. Can you guys imagine for 10 days, they only ate water and vegetables as a test. And then after that, they continued to only eat water and vegetables, right? So imagine what Daniel was going through. But because Daniel followed God's law, Daniel was blessed. And if we go on into uh, Daniel chapter one, verse 17, we hear that God gave these four young men, Daniel, Hananiah, Azariah, and Mishael, he gave them an unusual aptitude for understanding every aspect of literature and wisdom, and God gave Daniel the special ability to interpret the meaning of visions and dreams. So because they were so obedient to God and because they listened to him and did what they asked of him, he gave them special abilities, right? He blessed them. So, uh, I encourage you to go through the book of Daniel. Like I said, it's only about 12 chapters long, so it's really not that long. And read some of the wonderful stories that um, Daniel has provided for us because we see how Daniel continues to be blessed by the Lord because of his obedience to him. So I would encourage you to read on in Daniel, but for now, that's all we're going to do today. And as you go throughout this week, I want you to remember when you feel tempted by something, whether it's um, eating food that you're not supposed to, maybe an extra scoop of ice cream or having a piece of chocolate before dinner, I want you to think about what Daniel would do, right? He was given the ultimate temptation and he turned it down because he knew that God would want him to do what's right. So when you feel tempted this week like Daniel was, I want you to act like Daniel and I want you to do what God tells you is right, all right? Have a great week, guys.